Hello, in this uh, small part we will work further on the previous exercise, so queues to senders, and in this case we would increase the priority of our receiver task. So I'm back uh, in cube IDE within free RTOS configuration part, and uh, within tasks and queues I'm increasing by double click, and I would increase the priority of receiver task. So at the moment it is a normal and I would use above normal, which is much higher than both senders. After this, I will not do any further modification here. I will generate the code once again. I would keep everything like before. So let's build the code once again. Just to remind you, please have a look our senders are sending uh, some sign of life, then either one or two to the queue, and then they are sent to blocked state for two seconds. Receiver is sending some sign of life, so R, then it is trying to get some data from the queue, waiting four seconds for this maximum. Then in case of success, this task is sending the data. If not, it is not sending anything else. And uh, after this, it is sent to the blocked state for two seconds. In this particular time, receiver will have much higher priority than senders, so it will try to take uh, more data from the queue. It will be allowed to do this. Okay, so let's uh, let's try and start a debug session. So I click the back icon. And again, I would use SWV ITM data console. It is configured, yes, for pin zero. I click start with this ballot and then I press resume. And what is happening here? Let's stop it for a while and let's analyze what we can see. At the beginning there is receiver selected just and it is not displaying nothing because the queue is empty so it is stacking on it for two, four seconds but even if it will not stack it will step over. Let me go to the, to the code. Even if you put a smaller timeout, it will exit and uh, stop on this OS delay and it, it will be in a blocked state again for two seconds. Receiver, after sending this task action, it is in a blocked state, so first sender is selected. It is sending some data to the queue. It is sending data to the queue and once it is sent, it is um, unblocking the receiver within this function already because this function has been run for maximum four seconds. So maximum four seconds, receiver is waiting um, for the data in the queue. If the data in the queue will receive within those four seconds, receiver task would be unblocked uh, by the scheduler and selected for execution as it is the highest priority task, as you remember. So task one would be preempted by receiver task. Receiver will collect this one sent by sender one and it will display it. After this, it will be sent for two seconds uh, to the blocked state again. So this would be the time uh, for sender 2. So sender 2 will perform its action as sender 2 is sent as well to blocked state for two seconds. Receiver would be selected as its delay will elapse. So it will execute this R, sign of life, and it will stack again for this. It could stack again, but it will not because sender2 has sent 2 into the queue. So we can see this effect receiver and then immediately sending this uh, uh, content from the queue, so number 2. After this, sender2 would be selected again. It will send the data into the queue. And then just after it, it will be sender1. In the meantime, receiver is in this, let's say, blocked state caused by this delay. This is why both senders have a chance to execute its code. After this, uh, receiver is woken up, it's back from the blocked state caused by this function, and uh, it is sending its sign of life, so big R. And uh, after this, uh, the receiver is sending 2 into this, and uh, it is again sent for 2 seconds to the blocked state. So this is again chance for sender 2, and, uh, and the story continues. 
So as you can see, sometimes it is quite difficult to plan the full determinism uh, within the system when you've got more, let's say, than one senders and one receiver. So please carefully plan your timing, uh, especially using OS delays and the timeouts within OS message queue get and queue put, just to be sure that uh, you will receive the proper messages from the queue as expected. So that's all for this exercise. Thank you for watching the video.